Lee, you said it wouldn't be easy. Uh, it certainly wasn't. What did you make of that one? Tough game, very tough game. Um, I was disappointed with our start. I thought we started a bit slow, a bit sloppy, a bit posy almost. Um, big key for more caused us a real problem, to be honest, and uh, it wasn't good to see. But we wrestled it back, obviously, after a poor goal conceded. Uh, a bit of individual brilliance from Famara, great goal, something that he's been working on in training. And um, and then it was highly charged end to end. Both teams had spells, and we went for it, conceded, and then obviously with the attackers that we had causing a problem, Durich when he came on, I thought it was good and gave us a platform, and a uh, great goal from Brownie. Yeah. Which one was your favourite? They were both outstanding. Well, probably emotion wise, Brownie's one yeah. because you're just waiting for it to loop in. But we, I mean, they had some good chances, but we had a couple of good chances as well. Brownie's quality bit of play in the first half, and um, there was one at the start of the second half where we just couldn't get it over the line. But both teams had chances, they had more shots, we had more possession. And I'm all right, I'm all right. I'm, I'm disappointed because I always want the win. I felt mm. three points um, was there, but obviously from 2 1 down, then uh, it's not a bad point. Some con controversy early on as well with, with Bailey Wright. What was your view on that? Was the, the right call from the referee? Oh, I did think it was the right call. Genu <coughs> genuinely, I thought um, Bakes was close enough to be able to cover around, particularly with the bounce of the ball and how high it was. Um, I don't think they would have scored. Um, when Jane Patterson went off in the second half, was that a tactical decision or part of his, his groin injury, I, th well, I think? Or? A bit of both, really. He's just taking a couple of whacks, isn't he? Obviously, Kent, he's bright and he's mm. got uh, some sort of quick feet. And uh, we needed somebody like that on just to give us a bit of impetus and, and to drive us up the pitch a little bit. Yeah. How was it to come back to your old stomping ground? It was all right. It was quite nice to me at first, and then it, <laughs> and then it changed. But uh, yeah, the uh, guy in the, um, the loveliest guy in the world wanted to kill me in the end, and that's uh, he's one of my mates as well. <laughs> um, and obviously looking ahead to, to Brentford, um, it's not a stat I want to remind you of. But they've not been. City haven't beaten them since 2009, so you can put that one to bed, maybe. Well, I think history means nothing. You know what I mean? We can't be prisoners of our past. This is a big game for us, and we're going to need everybody. We're going to need to play um, better than we did today. And the surface should be better, and uh, that's conducive normally to us playing well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm pleased. Yeah. Just right. so, just finally on that one, not much time to prepare, not much time to recover, but I guess everyone's in the same boat. Yeah, and everyone has to deal with it. We've got a big squad. It's going to be a really hard team selection, this one, and uh, I'll have to really think. I'll probably go in a dark room, put some Paolo Nettini on.